नमस्ते माय नेम इज सूरज पालेकर एंड वेलकम टू आवर शो द मोग सीरीज मोग इन कोंकणी मीन्स लव एंड दिस इज वेअर वी सेलिब्रेट लव एंड पॅशन इन वन्स लाईफ फॉर देअर वर्क अ कॉज इन देअर लाईफ एंड टुडेज गेस्ट इज अ टेड एक्स स्पीकर अ सोशल ऑन्टरप्रिनर अ मोटिवेटर शी इज ऑल्सो अ फाउंडर ऑफ वेब इन गोय कार्ट एंड गो वमनिया शी इज मेड अ सिग्निफिकंट इम्पॅक्ट बाय क्रिएटिंग एन ऑनलाईन कम्युनिटी ऑफ ओवर ट्वेल्व थाउजंड इन गोवा With her co-team, she supports Goan women entrepreneurs. She has won a loads of awards for the work that she's been doing. Let's welcome Rafina Sheikh, who is popularly known as Sia. Sia, welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you so much. So, Sia, uh, our first question, you know, uh, in fact, uh, when when we were actually talking about it, that uh, you know, Sia is coming, said, you know, we want to know that Sia has achieved so much at this young age, you know, and. Uh, she's been working so hard in creating you know and supporting uh, women of goa how has been your journey well uh, the journey has been a roller coaster okay and uh, you know there is a saying today morning i just saw a quote that uh, the road to success it's always under construction right <laughs> right so it's not easy uh, in fact uh, where i am today right. so right from my childhood i come from a very orthodox uh, family muslim especially okay. and uh, whatever struggles uh, i had in fact even to educate myself so i had to go through a lot and uh, i'm grateful in fact when i look back i'm grateful because it has changed my life completely it has transformed my life so it's been a great and today i think i can share these stories with many because of the struggles that i have uh, been through i'm i'm sure everybody would want to know your stories you know and you know coming from as you said uh, from a difficult you know times or those early stages so has this impacted your love for what you're doing your mook for your work how has it you know changed over a period of time has it increased or has it decreased how it has been well it has increased of course because uh, what i do i love doing it and that's my passion so uh, i work for it like you know and i'm very focused person so when i take up any project or any kind of assignment to work i make sure to give my 100% well i've evolved as a person especially uh, you know my capabilities have evolved significantly you know i'm a person that uh, uh, I have learned lot many things in this journey and of course it's my passion uh, f- and I love what I am doing today. So I give whenever I take up any project or any kind of assignment I make sure to give my 100% towards it. So I work towards it like you know. Right. See I mean uh, you have you know been known as a very inspirational person of Goa inspirational woman of Goa and you I'm sure you've left a fantastic impact on a lot of people. So if I'd like to ask you you know what kind of impact do you really want to leave I mean leave on the society that you know this is Sia and this is the kind of work Sia has been doing so what is your you know mindset or thought process behind that what what kind of you know a uh, message that you want to give out there to especially to women entrepreneurs Well in the last 6 uh, to 7 years mm-hmm. we have uh, created impact in Goa mm. but I want our women entrepreneurs I want them to take nationally and then globally so create that kind of ecosystem or uh, give them that exposure and opportunities where uh, they can promote themselves their products especially the local mm. uh, Goan handmade products right. I want to uh, explore in fact i want to give opportunity to our women so that they can sell this product globally get recognized you know yeah. and make goa as the best uh, ecosystem for startups especially women entrepreneurs so that is what i am looking and i'm working on it okay uh, you know there is always uh, a source of an idea you know we all you know as an entrepreneurs we think of an idea at some point of time and then we want to then execute it you know make it a, a kind of a dream come to so what was your source of this whole you know idea that you have like you know side being a founder for webin or govmania that all that you set up where where does that come from where is that motivation come from yes that's a very interesting story because uh, back uh, like in 2006 7 
I was in Pune. Mm -hmm. So I started my career in Pune. I okay. worked in a BPO for 10 years and uh, I was a part of a platform there where I saw many women were, uh, you know, coming up, sharing their uh, stories, uh, showcasing their products and all and making some sort of income through that platform. So when I came back to Goa in uh, 2015-16, after my marriage, again I came back to Goa. So uh, there I saw that many women, especially the local, mm -hmm. the, the rural areas, because I'm from Valpai, right? Okay. So I've seen women who are very good at their craft, right. but they didn't have that kind of platform to showcase. So. And I had a bit of idea because I have uh, experience into marketing uh, for 10 years. So right. I somewhere wanted to make use here in Goa for Goans. Right. So that's how I started with the community first, the online community where I uh, invited women from different parts of Goa to be part of this community. And then when we reach to a certain numbers, uh, then we uh, realized that we can uh, make it uh, you know we can make this community uh, wherein people can uh, showcase sitting at their home because here uh, people used to hesitate to travel from north goa to south right. goa right because of distance of Correct. course the distance Correct. is yeah. less but then uh, i'm talking about like uh, eight ten years back True. True. but uh, when they have a community where where uh, they can put their product uh, they can sell their products sitting at home because there are many uh, women who uh, like who do who doesn't have that kind of support also right. where they can come out and hmm. all so somewhere I wanted to give them a support sitting at home Aram say you sit and whatever work you are doing whatever it is like you know if you are making laddus or if you are uh, uh, designing a clothes or if you are stitching a clothes or if you are just uh, good in doing some kind of art embroidery or anything right. so our platform was ready for them to showcase so that's how this came yeah uh, you know uh, we all have experienced that whenever you start anything you know and especially the segment that you are working in as you say rural areas and you know uh, rural women you know who is actually uh, great at their work i'm sure it's not very easy to convince them you know to come on your platform and give them a whole bigger picture of how it's going to help them so was that easy for you or how difficult was it for you well initially it wasn't easy okay because whenever you start anything new first thing is um, you know that doubt comes ki bhai kya hoga iska hoga kya hoga hoga ki nahi hoga yeah. iska yeah. Um, because aise bahut sare platforms hai Correct. right to wo question mark hamesha rehta hai logon hmm. ke dimag mein aur aap uh, aur isme kya hai ki time investment bahut tha thoda sa research karna bhi tha right aise nahi ki just platform open ho gaya and then it, it will automatically Correct. work it doesn't work like Correct. that huh. so literally uh, i had to work on it me and my one of my friend okay. we used to go and meet people right. uh, to make them understand ki uh, aap logon ke liye ye platform kaise benefit kar sakta hai so i used to meet them i used to create that mindset first right. change their mindset you know uh, give them those uh, kind of tips and tricks ki how social media today can boost your business right. and coming from marketing background so of course my knowledge helped my experience helped me to convince them to be part right. so I uh, made started with 50 uh -huh. online right. and those 50 helped me to bring more 50 more. and 100 so like it got uh, doubled like every month it got doubled and yes. then uh, I think within a short span of time in a year we reached to 500 right Right. And after that, it was uh, easy, kind of. So, uh, we believe we have a number of over 12,500, yeah. uh, you know, uh, women who are, uh, you know, part of uh, this platform. So, how long did it actually take you to get this number? It took me around uh, three to four years. Three to four years. Yes. Actually. And and women across Goa from rural uh, places are a part of this or there's a particular segment wherein you know only all over goa all over goa. yeah right from kapem sawadem from satri uh, so uh, i would say urban there are like around uh, 60 to 70 percent okay. and rural 30 percent 
but still people everyday people are becoming part of this community so, so i'm sure you must be actually even now as you said 30 percent is from the rural side there yeah. must be a huge chunk that needs to be yes. still captured yes, and get absolutely. them on board make them understand what this platform is about right yes, and absolutely. probably a couple of uh, more years which is going to take yeah. so i'm sure all these things that you do you know for people the work that you do must be keeping you very busy so i wonder how do you really find time for you know to actually focus or probably pursue your mog or any kind of a hobby or the kind of time probably you would want to find for your family how do you, how do you actually you know manage that so i start my time like i uh, early right of course how early uh, 6:30 ah, okay because my son is 5 years old so okay. his school starts at 9 so mm-hmm. I, i feel this is the last year that uh, i'll be waking up uh, 6:30 or 7 7:30 but then uh, from next year onwards uh, i have to rise early more right. before that okay. i think before 6 hmm. uh, but i am a person where um, i invest time uh, you know especially pampering myself right. and this is not now it's been from the past right. uh, so i even if i'm sitting 15 minutes quietly that uh-huh. is like me time my time okay and um, so anything that um, so i'm a person who love to invest time for myself right and uh, every day dedicatedly like at least 15 minutes i make sure to give to myself to analyze the work that i have done uh, you know in the entire day uh, i love traveling i love pampering so so there are small things that makes me happy small right. small things like right. you know so every day when i start my day 10 minutes when i end my day 10 minutes right. so these are the things that keeps me happy um, you know and uh, gives me a uh, new uh, kind of uh, a boost or uh, i generate basically more ideas when i am alone okay. when i'm sitting alone for 10 15 minutes you know it's like my zone so that is what i make sure every day to give time to myself so you're saying that in this whole chaotic you know a day yes. you know that you spend these 5 10 minutes or 15 minutes that you spend by yourself is something that gives you a peace apart from that are you like fond of anything else like you know you are into music or any kind of art activities that really you know uh, fascinates you and you pursue that because you you're dealing with a lot of women and their creativity so does that actually make you probably follow some you know other other form of art that you want to uh um, not really not okay. art but i love driving so okay. i go for a long drive alone okay. uh and uh, listen to music so that is another thing i do but my most of my time goes uh you know uh, speaking to people to people uh understanding them so even in a day if i'm able to give solution to one or two people mm-hmm. i'm happy that right. because of me or because of my guidance uh they are also kind of happy or they got the right kind of solution that they were looking at mm. so talking to people also is kind of uh, i would say is is like you know that is what okay. makes you feel you know good about yourself you know i mean giving them the right guidance you know yeah talking to people to, yeah. and uh, understanding listening to them, to them okay. uh, understanding their challenges and then giving them a solution as per my experience hmm. or my knowledge is what makes me happy and i feel good about myself but i'm sure you know sometimes giving advices to people or probably you know understanding their problem and telling them what needs to be done not usually a lot of people follow that as people sunte hain kabhi kabhi bolte hain theek hai has there been moments where you you know felt nahi yaar bas bahut ho gaya i'm really tired of this i don't want to do this and i like you wanted to like quit whatever that you're doing ever ever you know happened to you नहीं अभी तक ऐसा फील ही नहीं हुआ है okay. क्योंकि मुझे लगता है कि अगर हमने खुद से विलिंगली जब हम कोई भी चीज़ करते हैं पैशनेटली hmm. कोई भी चीज़ करते हैं तो उसमें कोई बोर नहीं फील होता है मैं बोर की बात नहीं करूँ बहुत डिफिकल्ट सिचुएशन नो कभी कभार होता है ना नो मटर how much we are trying uh, you know the kind of hard work that we do it just then, doesn't work then we should give time I feel we should give time pause okay. it pause it and then वापस से शुरू है Yes I have done how many times not really many times okay. because I hardly go through in this kind of situation so what what really makes you come back what makes you like bounce back to that what you've been doing so for me uh, uh 
the background that I come from, yeah. as I told you, is there be very strong uh, challenges? That you face. Yeah, बोल सकते हैं कि you know difficulties I've been through. तो मुझे लगता है ये उससे बड़ा difficult part नहीं है. Even after uh, losing my partner, right. that was the biggest dent, like you know, in my life. So मैं वही सोचती हूँ कि इससे बड़ा challenge हो ही नहीं सकता life में. तो वो चैलेंज जो अभी आप मुझे जो बोले वो चैलेंज मेरे लिए छोटा ही है छोटा ही है काइंड ऑफ व्हाट व्हाट इज़ योर प्लान फॉर योर करियर यू नो मूविंग हेड व्हाट इज़ द व्हाट इज़ द प्लान यू हैव फॉर ऑल दिस ब्रांड्स दैट यू आर ट्राइंग टू क्रिएट फ्रॉम वेब इन टू गोए कार्ड What is your dream? Yes, Go uh, Woman ya, to online community hai, we set hai. But Webin, I want to take it pan India. Okay. And uh, today we have created a strong, uh, uh, you know, platform, especially networking platform, business networking platform for women, where uh, people meet monthly twice. Uh, we have created four different chapters. Mm -hmm. uh, we have hundred and ten women. Uh, who are running their own businesses okay. from different parts of Goa. Right. Uh, we have generated 10 CR plus business okay. till date. Okay. So my aim by 2028 mm -hmm. is to uh, reach Pan India, right. uh, to cross 1000 plus in fact, to support 1000 plus women entrepreneurs mm -hmm. and generate a revenue of 100 CR. That's, for that's all of amazing. us. That's amazing. We really wish you luck, uh, Sia, in this whole journey. And any specific message uh, you would like to give to you know women of uh, Goa or India, women entrepreneurs, especially, I'm talking about from your side. Well, I can only say that uh, true talent lies within us. Okay. It's just that we need to identify, explore, uh, explore it, yes. you know, and give the best shot. Right. So that is what I want to tell uh, each one of you. If you are willing to do something, don't think twice. Just go for it. Go for it. Yes. Plunge. Take that leap. Take that leap. Leap of faith. Yes, absolutely. All right, great. Thank you, Sia. It was a pleasure having you. And before we leave, we have a small uh, token of mook for you. Well, uh, this is from her side. Thank you, so you. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for my coming. travel partner. Yes. <laughs> right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, there was a Sia Sheikh for us. It was amazing, you know, having being in a conversation with her. And uh, we wish you luck. And this is it for this episode. Uh, we'll see you again next time. Thank you so much.